And welcome back. This is Bob Scooby with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I'm joined as always by my trusty team of Fallout Luke, Finny, and Noah. And when we last left off, we were in the Temple of Chaos on the second basement floor. Now, what you want to do here, and what kind of enemies do we fight here? We fight lava worms. If you remember, those are fire enemies. Any guesses of who we're going to fight at the end of this floor? So, you see that? Really? One step? really fire gigas and fire lizards so you want to go into this room here and in here you'll find no treasure so you just want to go to the right and then out the door to the south okay down here we go now I believe the stairs out of here are yeah right there but I don't want to go that way right now because there is treasure on this floor. Oh, I have to go up. So you have to go up inside and then down here. So yeah, there are the stairs right there. If you want to take them, feel free. But I want all the treasure from down here first. There are two rooms, one to the left, one to the right. I'm going to go to the left one first. And as a result of that battle, I got another level up. Everybody's up to 37 now. We do have a treasure chest here. It has a protect ring. Not that I need another one. And then I want to go down. And what? What? <sighs> fire gigas and fire lizards. They want to be in the video so bad. But no! So what you want to do is go to the left and out the door to... Okay, there's the door to the south. And then you go to the east, which is a long, narrow hallway. Then you go down here and around. And over here we find... We find a room. And in this room we find... A Sasuke, which I can't use anyways. Well, let's go up this way, just show there's nothing else here. And then we make it back all the way to the original room where we can make our way out. Yeah, I can't use the Sasuke because, once again, I don't have a ninja. Plus, who has two ninjas in their party? Sir. I mean, ninjas are cool and all, but give me a master any day of the week. Okay, let's go into the right one now, and hopefully we'll find some treasure I can actually use. Over here we get the Protect Cloak, which I do actually want to equip. I believe Nova needs it. Yes, he does. And we should be able to head to the right this time. And this time, the exit is way over here. And what do we find out here? Another entrance with 26,000 gil. Useless, useless gil. Because I believe I'm maxed out already. And now we go down the narrow hallway once more. Hopefully we can finally leave this level. I know we've been on it forever. Okay, up here we go. And what do we find here? Oh, one more step and we'll fight her. Are you guys ready? I think I am. Let's do this. We're up against Merilith once again. And uh, if you remember right, her name was um, Carrie in the original one. But she's Merilith here, so why not just kill her with Merilith? Where is that black robe? There we go. That'll give me some ice too on her. How much damage does that do? Only 31. Yeah, she's strong against magic, so I don't feel like using um, Flare or Holy or anything like that on her. Because it hardly does any damage anyways. Oh, jeez. Alright, please, everybody, heal. Where are those? There's the healing helm. Everybody, heal Luke! Yeah, you know, sometimes the smartest way to battle is not the most exciting way, but it works. It's effective, so I'm going to keep doing it. And down goes Merilith. Thanks to an 8-hit combo from Luke, he punched her right in her snaky parts. And down goes the Red Queen of Blades. Again. But this time, 2,000 years in the past. How that makes sense, I'll never know. All right, now we're on the third floor. So what we want to do is go down, around, and down again. And over to the left, if I can go in there. 
And yes, you don't need to ask. Everything here is a water enemy. Basically, everything that we've been fighting in the uh, that we fought in the water temple, like sea trolls, sea scorpions, and sea snakes. So we want to go down through this door here, up through this door. And as a result of that battle, we leveled up again. We're all the way up to 38 now. Good lord, that is a high level. And then we want to go... Hold on. Yeah, there's nothing over to the right, so we want to go straight down here. And, okay, this is where the game tries to, to trick you here. What, what, you, what we've been doing this whole time, right, is we get up to the stairs, and then we fight a boss right outside the stairs. That's not going to happen this time. Because it's... No! We have another random encounter here. That's, that's strange. Hold on for one second. Let me finish this off, and then I can continue what I was talking about. Like I was saying, along this little hallway here, we will find the Kraken. It is not going to be next to the stairs as we've been seeing this entire time, and as it should be. It's going to be in the middle. We're going to launch a flare at it because I don't like the look of it, and I want it to die by flare. Is it going to be enough? Probably not, but 185 damage, that's not bad, not bad. We need the 659, though, good lord, that's a lot of damage. Finny, of course, is still healing because you're pretty much always going to be low on health. Ugh. Do you see how much damage that did? Cure 4. Nah. We'll just do a Cure 3 for now. And, uh, you cast... Yeah, let's go for a Bolt 3. Bolt 3 should do it. Yeah, Cure 3 doesn't do it nearly as much damage as I would like. Oh, and he has a Bolt 2 in his arm. Don't be enough to kill Luke. Don't be enough. Oh, sweet. We're apparently strong against Bolt. I did not realize. But is he strong against Bolt? He is! Wow. But he goes, he goes down by Excalibur to the tentacles. And he slow dissolves. And there we go, we defeated the Kraken! The third fiend, the water fiend! And that allows us to get into a random battle. As I was saying, it allows us to go down the stairs to the fourth level of the basement. Any guesses as to what this one is? Of course, it's the sky area. Now, I believe we want to go down and over to the right. What kind of enemies do we have here? Nightmares and Doom Knights. No, I'm wrong. Right is not the way I want to go. I want to go down into the left. I was getting ahead of myself, thinking of the exit. Oh, I know there is something down here. No, it shouldn't be to the right. It should be... Maybe I missed it. I shouldn't have missed it. Oh, there we go. This looks like the right way. I could be mistaken now. But this looks like it. Is this... No, wow, we have vampires and a vampire lord! Oh no, we found the den of the vampires. So we go all the way to the right, and here we find a small little room with... The Massamune. Now this, by most accounts, is considered the best weapon in the game. And it's better than the Excalibur. Don't get me wrong, it is. Yes, yes it is. But I like the Excalibur better simply because I have it on a guy that I'll actually use it. The, Excal the Massamune, though, however, I'm going to be putting on Finny. Now that gets her up to 67. Which is not as high as Fallout, but it makes her an actual attack in this. You know what? No, 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 no. We're putting that on the Black Mage. We're, gonna, we're, we're switching it up. We're not doing things the conventional way this time. So now we have to go all the way back to the front. All the way back to the front of the level. And I'll be honest, I tried the Masamune once on Novin and once on Finny. Um... I'm keeping it on Finny. Uh, she simply gets a higher combo rate with it. Uh, so, yeah. So now Finny can actually take on some of the weaker opponents here all by herself. Like those vampires. So, we need to go... I, I don't think we can actually go up this way. No, no we can't. So we do have to go all the way back around. All the way back to the top. 
And then we can start heading to the right, and I think that's it. And once again, we have another level up that's all the way up to 39 now. And here we go. Wow, right off the bat, Tiamat did not expect him this early, so once again, it's a surprise boss. Um, what do I want to do for, for Tiamat here? I believe I can just have her attack now, and then um, have Novin heal everybody. Oh no, we cannot have her attack. No, 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 that is not what we do. We have Luke attack. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that, I believe that one's an instant death poison attack. So, let's go ahead and have Finny cast Holy and Novin's gonna cast Flare. It's gonna leave uh, two flares for Chaos at the end. But, uh, We'll, we'll see what happens. But there's a hole there. Now, Timeot is susceptible to instant death spells if you want to try it. I I don't like the instant death spells for bosses, so I've just never done it that way. But if you want to, feel free to give it a shot. And there it goes. There! For 191 damage. Not bad, not bad. How many holies do I have left? Ah, uh, I want to save him. I want to save him. And then, um... We'll try a nice three. We'll try it. You know, see, look, Finny's doing a decent amount of damage compared to everybody else right now. Except when Tiamat, you know, freaking attacks. Good lord, 275 damage. And 39 there. So everybody's attacking, except for Melvin, who's going to be healing. I want to save those last two flares. Four hundred sixty-six damage is for the win. Down goes Tarmach, the six-headed dragon. I don't know how he's not the king of the dragons. If Bahama ended up getting that, but that's a story for another day. Get five hundred spears and our gale. We earned that. That's right, we did. So let's keep going through here, and there, there are the stairs. Let us go down them to the final floor, basement number five. Now you're tempted to go up, I know you are, don't do it, just go straight down. And around, and into this room here. And there we find, wait, who is that? Is that? Hold on for one second, let me, let me heal up because I'm pretty sure this is a boss no matter who it is. <laughs> 